Avengers Endgame was an amazing film that ended an 11 year saga of comic book movies. Both Avengers Endgame and Avengers Infinity War had one of the best villains in all of the movies and arguably all of Marvel Comics, Thanos the Mad Titan. Although the main weapon that he uses in Avengers Infinity War is the Infinity Gauntlet itself, in Avengers Endgame he uses a double bladed sword. This double bladed sword was first seen in leaked promo art and then in the first few trailers. A few weeks ago I tried to see if I could design this sword, and maybe 3D print a full scale version of it. The 3D printer that I use is an Ender 3, it has about a 7 inch by 7 inch by 7 inch build volume. Since 3D printing a full scale sword would require a larger build volume than what I have, what I'm going to have to do is make a big design, cut it into pieces, and then print it piece by piece. After printing all the pieces, which hopefully won't take too long, I'm going to have to put everything together with an adhesive. Something that I used for a previous project was Bondo, and it worked out pretty well, so I'm going to try to use that again. But before worrying about putting anything together, let's start with the design. Once all the separate pieces were done printing, I put everything together using Bondo. It only takes about 15 minutes for this putty to dry, then you can start sanding it to make all the pieces look like one joint piece. Although I put all the separate pieces together to make one part, it might not look perfect. After I finish painting it, you'll probably still be able to see if you look close enough that they were bonded together or puttied together, 
but from far enough away to look like a prop, it's going to look pretty good, I think. The next step is to spray all the parts with primer. I like using the filler and sandable primer, because on 3D prints this will fill all the layer lines, and then once you put on a few coats and then sand it, it looks pretty smooth. For the final colors of the sword, I used a hammered gold spray paint for the handle which gives a glossy gold finish with a metallic hammered texture, the same spray paint but in a grey color for the main part of the blades, and a flat black paint for the black edges. The hammered texture of the paints helped cover up minor defects while also making it look more like metal than the 3D printed plastic that it is. Although you can still see some minor blemishes and layers up close, the final layers of paint helped transform this plastic project into an awesome decoration. Thank you for watching, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. I'm hoping to upload at least one video a month about either the development of an interesting engineering project I'm working on, or more prop videos like this one.